Hello, I'm Attila G. Horvat. Welcome to the YouTube channel of the AutoCAD Architecture Blog.com. In the previous video, I presented you how to modify door window assembly. In this video, I'll present you how to create structure of stair. First, please open the content browser Ctrl plus 4. Within it, open the design tool catalog metric Imperial. From the left list, choose the stairs and railing group and finally the stairs category. Then please search the concrete name stair style. Now please take the cursor above the eyedrop icon until the cursor becomes pipette. Keep the left button pressed and soak it up with the displaying pipette. When the pipette is soaked itself up, please keep the left mouse button pressed and drag the pipette into the AutoCAD drawing area and then let the mouse button go about pouring there the content of the pipette. Before specifying the start point of the stair, you have to set the base parameters of being created stair on the properties palette. Please set the shape option to multi landing and the turn type option to one per four turn. Leave the window style option on balanced. Set the vertical orientation value to up. The width to 1000 mm. The height to 3000 mm. And the justify option to right. The riser count the riser and the treat parameters are not important now. They will be set later. You can see that the stair is not inserted to its place at once. Just please put on a place where it is easier to edit and later it will be moved to its place. After setting the parameters, snap the endpoint shown in the figure as the start point of the stair flight. The program marks the justifying of the stair with the blue color. But if the crosshair is on this line too, it appears yellow. Now you can start to drag the stair flight to the right and type 1300 mm to the first stair flight length. Then please continue up the stair flight and because you do not want any more window, drag the cursor until the whole stair flight displays, then make a left click. The stair has been inserted. You can press enter to mark that no more stairs will be inserted. For setting of the riser count and the riser values, first please select the stair, then on the properties palette, click on the cell next to the calculation rules, on which the treed and the small panel sign is seen now. Please click in the cell to display the calculation rules panel in the following status. It is seen that only the D3 value can be changed. Click on this icon in the B riser count line to unlock its editable mode. Please pay attention that the B riser count field value is set to be 
18 the D thread value to 280 millimeters and then press OK to exit the panel. During the operation, the program can indicate that the values do not satisfy the calculation rules. But if the values are changed, it will be right. In the end, the stair will be changed like in the figure. The next step is to move the stair to its place. With the AutoCAD Move command, please move the stair from the endpoint to the endpoint so the right bottom corner of the stair will fall in the suitable wall corner. The next step is to turn on visibility of steps above the cut plane. First, you can select the stair and please open the stair style panel with the edit style command from the ribbon contextual stair tab. Go to the components tab and turn off the sloping riser and then turn on the treed and the riser. The next step is to go to the Display Properties tab and then in the Plan High Detail line turn on the Style Override option. On the Display Display Properties panel the next is to turn on the visibility of the riser above cut plane on the Layer, Color line type tab and the visibility of the path above cut plane. As the riser component has been switched on just now, it is not seen in the list of the display component. In this case you have to close the panel with OK key and then you can go again to the stair style panel and you can turn on visibility of riser above cut plane and path above cut plane because now they are seen in the list. Finally, please close the panel with OK. In the next series I'll show you how to create Stairwinder style. If you like this tutorial, make sure you subscribe for more. If you would like to create the whole project of a two-story house with sheets and annotation, please buy the ebook which guides you step by step.